Okay. I'm a dork. This is my little box of resin fun. He's like, this is actually for um, the UV resin and some of the resin molds. Especially this big one right here. It has other stuff in it, like some of the UV resin that I've already done made. And these are like the add-ins right here. So all these different fancy things. And these are the little mica powders right here. Uh, bronze, gold. I want to say brown. Whatever that dirt. I don't know. Looks like dirt or brown dirt. I don't know. Cocoa, silver, green, blue, of course rose. And then, eh. Okay, if I can get. Okay, this is what I get for you. Then. That blue, the two different shades of red, black, white, and then that purple. And these are like the opaque dyes, rose, onyx. And the fist. Sapphire. You gotta shake them up before you use them. Sapphire. I'm only shaking them up just so you can see the actual colors. Seafoam. Turquoise. Of course, white. This is one of the one dyes that I had from before red and here's the other one yellow trust me this does not look as pretty in the resin as it does in the bottle and ruby gold amber I'm sorry, this does not look like amber. And citrine. I don't know how they get citrine from this, but whatever. And silver. That's, yeah, that. This is one of the molds. It's a coaster mold. I'm waiting for it to finish curing. And a bracelet mold. And yeah, currently waiting on to cure. This is one of the other molds from the UV resin. <clears throat> and then moon, crescent moon mold, and then little earring mold, little doodad mold for little doodads. First I shall show you what. How many? I'm falling apart. Mold. This is the crescent moon mold. It has this really cute design. This, this is what it looks like when it's done. I use like some of the black and some of the powders for the. You can see where the little mica powders are at, and 
Oh yeah, use black and silver. I feel silly. This is what the back looks like. This is what the bracelet looks like. After it's done curing, I have these little edges that I have to get rid of. I only did two coasters or two little of that. <clears throat> this is what they look like after they're hard. This is more kind of like more see-through than the other one. And this is how I would set up. I had to use it on my altar with one of the other little resin pieces that I made. Pyramid. I need to find the mold for the pyramid. I need to meet her here. And you can tell this one's a little bit thicker. It's not as see-through as you can tell. But I have them set up here on my altar as little pretties. Show them off. See what I be working on and what it's will turn out to be. Hopefully, soon. As you can tell, I use like some of the blue um, mica powder and the red, and some of the add ins like these little purple um, flakes and these little like. I guess mother of pearl flakes and the stars. And this is just the um, amethyst dye and some of the white right there in the corner and then um, these two right here is the um, amethyst dye plus the purple mica powder and these are just, sorry, these, these right here are just the mica powder that I just brushed on within the mold itself and the same with, that is just the mica powder.